Marco. Who's going to win Bathurst? That's a really good question. What's your name? Bentley. Well, Bentley, I tell you what, to answer that, I reckon we're going to have to go back about 90 years. So, Bentley, I know we're at Bathurst, but this is actually called Mount Panorama. And the funny thing was, this is a true story, it was actually never meant to be a racetrack, right? So, back 90 years ago, the Mayor, Mayor Griffin, designed this as a scenic drive. So you could drive your car up here and have a bit of a look around. What the Mayor didn't know is he was actually designing what would be one of the best racetracks in the world. And you know, when I think about the top of this mountain, in fact, you got an empty can? 1971, Bill Brown. 100 mile an hour, rolling down the arm coach, crushing his car. Hey Bentley, have you ever heard of Conrod Strait? What? Yeah, and it's really cool. It's nearly 300 k's an hour, let me show you. You come onto the straight, right? And you've got the gear stick. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, pull. And as it is, it leads onto the fastest corner of anywhere we go. Fabian Coulthard rolled his car there. Remember that big rollover? And he said, when he got out, he said it was like a ride at Dreamworld. He just didn't even have to open up the door. So you might have beaten the track, but you still got to be the best driver over the whole day. And I see you a Chaz Mostert fan. Sure will. <laughs> I like Chazzy Mostert too, you know why? He's a Ford guy. I'm a Ford guy, and you know why I'm a Ford guy? because my dad was a Ford guy. And so, when I was a young bloke, my heroes were Alan Moffat and Dick Johnson. And I loved Alan Moffat because he came here and he changed the game forever. He was so professional. And Dick Johnson, true Aussie icon. And then there was this other guy, Brocky, Peter Brock. He won this race nine times and he earned the title King of the Mountain. He was the driver we kind of all wanted to be. And that King of the Mountain title, I don't think you'll ever lose it. Like you, I'm a car guy. This race is about cars. You've got to have the best car. Let me tell you about some rippers. Round 67, Ford bring a GT Falcon here with a V8 in it. And then Holden turn up in 68, with a Chev V8 in a Monaro. And that started the Ford versus Holden Wars that still happen today. Then there was 1971, Alan Moffat's GTHO Phase 3. Seriously, I reckon that is the toughest, most muscular Aussie-built race car that was a road car ever. Then the Tiranas came, and in the hands of Peter Brock, nearly unbeatable. Then my favourites, the big Ford Coupes. In fact, I'd argue these are the most beautiful race cars to ever grace this great track. And then there was the 80s, the last of what we called the big bangers, and you needed big balls to drive them fast. <laughs> you know what? It's actually the mountain that decides this race. Let's go back 10 years. It's a picture-perfect day on the mountain. Jamie Winkup, he's in his prime. He's the favourite. Oh no, cold tyres and straight into the wall. Here's the reason for the issue. Third time ever that the race has been suspended. Oh, go, 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 go. And Lowndes has got a step. Oh, oh no, Lowndes has made contact with Frosty. It's an unbelievable storyline. Winkup is out of fuel. He's really struggling to get this thing home. Mostert is going to throw everything he's got at him. Winkup does everything he can. Blocks down the inside, he cops a whack, and another whack, and Mostert goes through on the inside. So I'm really sorry, Bentley. I can't tell you who's going to win this race. I honestly, can, honestly can't. But what we all know, right, is tomorrow we're going to add another chapter to the story of this great race, right? 